Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to try croissant for the first time. For this project I got a kit off of Etsy and this is how it arrived. And it had these really fine tweezers for laying the wire and these pipettes that are for placing the enamel. Now I'm not going to use these since I'm not using enamel but UV resin. And the most important thing for Clausan art is these wires and I chose these flat pressed wires. You can use round ones but I like these ones more. And they came in two packs. One is a really long strand of it and these here are like tiny pieces. And the wood pieces are for straightening out the wire as far as I know. And this wire is very very flexible and thin. Now my idea with this project was to make some bezels that I could uh, decorate and then immediately fill in myself. So I sketched out a peacock in my sketchbook that I will try and replicate with the wire. And I know this is fairly large so it might bend in the end when I'm using UV resin. So I put a clear piece of tape with the sticky side up onto my sketchbook and secured it with washi tape and then I used the tweezers to try and bend the wires and I had some trouble with that because the tweezers are so fine they keep getting stuck on the tape and so they pull up the wire with them. Also the tape was not quite strong enough to properly hold the wires so it kept slipping all the time. Which is why I didn't make that many details as I drew. Because I was inspired by some online artists on TikTok that made many more details. But they must have used some other kind of tape or some other kind of glue to stick down this wire. Once I was finished with the wire part, I removed the tape from my sketchbook and put it down to add some pre-colored UV resins. And I add them in smaller areas and then keep curing it as to not letting them run into each other and ruining my piece. And since I didn't add as many detail to the wings as I did in my sketch, I used some different colors for them to give the illusion of different colored feathers.
sadly I didn't find the right colors for the peacock so they have some opaque and some clear colors and I couldn't just color new UV resin because I didn't have the proper colorants on hand I just had alcohol inks and I know that my UV resin with this amount of inks I would have needed wouldn't have cured properly and would have stayed sticky which I didn't want so I just accepted that some parts would not match some other parts and for the background I used white with a bit of clear and gold as to give it some contrast and in the end I'm giving it a doming of clear UV resin but since the charm warped a bit and warped even more after I added that UV resin some leaked so it was really uneven sadly I still like this as my first try and I don't really know what I want to do with this but I'm definitely going to keep it and maybe trying to fix it someday and I originally wanted to make it a window hanger but that really doesn't work with this warping so I decided to try again and I made this wolf off camera with some experimenting and I found that of course it won't warp when you have like a hard surface that it sticks to so I decided to use bottles and with that I'm going to show you how I did the wolf but with a different image of a kind of stylized peacock feather. In the end I find it looks more like a flame but I like the colors so it doesn't matter if it's not what I intended it to be. And I found the best way I can shape this wire is just using my fingers and the tape I'm using is some bezel tape which is a bit more sticky but also less sticky. I can't quite describe it like the surface stick doesn't uh, come off that easily and it's sticky enough to hold the wire but not so sticky that you keep sticking to it with your hands and your tools. This time the colors didn't need to be clear so I couldn't mix my own with some mica pigments and my UV resin because the bottle is brown so it would shine through and to make the colors more vibrant mica powders or pigment powders in general would work best. And so I mixed up some really vibrant shades of oranges, blues and greenish blues and sadly the orange was a bit more copper-like because of the sheen of the mica powders but I think it makes it still look cool in the end it just didn't have like the soft feather effect that I wanted but that's also kind of the fault of the shape because I didn't add as many plushy feather wisp things on the edges as I wanted to just because when I started them I didn't feel they would look right so I decided to leave them away, but in the end I should have probably done them to make it look more like a peacock feather head. Now the trick on getting this onto the bottle is to just cure it for a short while that the resin is hardened but still bendy. And then I just apply a little layer of resin on the backside and then bend it onto the bottle and cure it directly while pressing it on. And there will be some resin run away from under the uh, 
the image but I decided to just blend the walls in with the glass because I found the wire could be a bit sharp on the edges and I didn't want to get cuts or something when I moved this bottle. And I also think it looks quite nice with the contrast of the blue and the brown of the bottle and the feathers. And that's a finished bottle. And I really liked this project. It was so much fun, but I kind of underestimated how quick I would pick up on the ability of bending the wires exactly. Because I hoped I could achieve more detail, but in the end uh, I didn't really make more detail. Which doesn't bother me too much, since I really liked the images I created. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you ever heard of Cloisonne or made it yourself, please tell me some tips and tricks if you uh, can give them to me. I know that there's different types of glue and different types of wire, but sadly this was the only wire I really could find. And maybe I would try it again someday, but then with proper enamel paint, which I've never used before. Anyways, hope you have a great day. Bye!